Hi Aquarius, this is your behind the scenes reading for March 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for March 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for March 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for March 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing heartbreak here. So Aquarius, listen. You know, it very well could be you going in to apologize for hurting someone to their heart or someone is coming in to apologize to you for hurting you to your heart. Okay, we'll see. Aquarius, you have the Queen of Swords. This is you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So, Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aquarius, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages here. Could be sending passionate messages out. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument here. Clarify the page of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the page of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the page of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the ten of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aquarius, listen, you're feeling a sense of betrayal here and maybe cutting this person off. Now, this can be that we had a heated discussion, an argument that something was said to hurt you, to cause you to feel a sense of betrayal. Or we found these passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion with a third party that caused you this sense of betrayal. Aquarius, you have the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. 
Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. This can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for Aquarius. Clarify the empress for Aquarius. Clarify the empress for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something, to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aquarius, listen, this can be about your money assets, resources, property. Yes. This can be that you guys had a commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics going on. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to this. And why is it ending? Is it ending with the spouse? Is it ending because baby mama, baby daddy, a third party is in the picture here? Maybe someone's expecting here. However, someone is coming in with some type of apology or romantic gesture here and may want to salvage you guys' situation or even level up here. Aquarius. You have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So listen, Aquarius, you could be looking at your coins here. Yes, this could be an argument over coins. However, you can tell me you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding that hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Could be something going on with the compromise and negotiations here. Also, a need for you to be patient. I think you are being patient here. Clarified temperance for Aquarius. Clarified temperance for Aquarius. Clarified temperance for Aquarius. It is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision. But you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge. A lack of information. Block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off. Not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So listen, Aquarius. You can tell me that you're over here debating. Being patient, trying to heal, and indecisive on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship because someone is coming in with this apology. However, <clears throat> you can tell me you're blocking them because you're still hurt and you're just wanting to time to heal, okay? Aquarius, you have the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with strength. 
Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Aquarius could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aquarius. Clarify strength for Aquarius. Clarify strength for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Aquarius, Hey, you can tell me that, yes, someone is coming in to give you something here because they're coming in with maybe a romantic gesture and it could even be some type of proposal for a commitment here. And I feel like you're indecisive. You need to find out whether or not you're over this pain and betrayal here. So I feel like for the time being, maybe you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself and holding yourself back from whatever it is that they're giving you. I feel like you're, you're wanting time. You're trying to be patient and indecisive on whether or not you want to accept it. Because, listen, can you, like, give me something to take away the pain? Diamond bracelet, Jimmy Choo shoes, like, I don't know, some type of purse people are wearing these days? I don't know. I, I don't know, golf clubs? Is that what men like? <laughs> I don't know what men like. I, I don't know, grills, fire, um, barbecue grills or something? I don't know what men like. What do they like? Watches? Hmm. Cologne. Cars. But a car doesn't match, like, shoes and purses, do it? Like, I don't know, it has to be even. Anyway, Aquarius, this is your behind-the-scenes reading for March 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.